Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and game week 12 seems like a long way in the past. And I guess it was really. But we're going to look at what happened in game week 12 in the Midnight Mule Mini League and then what my plans are for game week 13. I'm going to start by apologising for butchering this person's name. I'm going to say Dagmawi Workine Yemeskin. Sorry about that. Anyway, hold me close. Scored 101 points. And this is how they did it. They had Salah as captain for 32, Haaland on 16, Simakas for 15. So there's a whole load of points there. Apart from that, we had Saliba on 9, Bowen on 8, Watkins on 6, Diaby on 6, Saka on 5. And nothing to speak of on the bench. On top of our league, we have Alexander Lawrenson with Al's All-Stars, currently on 802 points. And they managed that with Captain Salah on 32, Haaland on 16, Saliba 9, Watkins 6, Bowen 8, and no other points to speak of, and no points to speak of on the bench. As for me, I'm down in 150th, there I am on 717 points, I managed 68 for the week. I had Salah captain as 32, apart from that, Bowen 8, Watkins 6, Darwin, Saka, Porro all got 5. And then on my bench, well, Simakas right at the end. See, what happened, I kept swapping while it's deadline, Simicast and Poro. I couldn't decide which one I was going to have. And then Tottenham was the early game, and right up, even on 90 minutes, Poro was on 12 points. So, great, very happy with that. But then Spurs managed to let in two goals in additional time, time added on. So that was a shame. So had that not happened, I'd have got a nice green arrow. Or if I'd kept Simicast higher than Poro on the bench, would have had a nice green arrow. Or if Haaland hadn't got his penalty... Would have got a nice green arrow. So although I got a red, I don't feel too bad about it because I was close through several different things of I could have got a green. I know it was a red, but I could have got a green. But I didn't, but I could have. So 68 points. Um, there I am, a small red arrow. I'm four points to the wrong side of 1 million and 165 points from top spot. But if I can score seven points a week, Ron now more than the person at the top of the league, between now and the end of the season, seven points every week, and I'll win the whole thing. <laughs> so that's a nice way to look at it, I think. 966 subscribers. Thank you very much to everyone who does subscribe and watches the videos and likes them and leaves comments. It's very much appreciated. FPL Game Week website. They have a content creators league you can look at. And when you look at it, you see where you would appear. And because I like to watch several different content creators, I recognise some of these names I've met some of these people so that's nice so i'd like to see how they're doing so there we have fpl fran on 782 and it's worth pointing out that luke who's top on 787 we have nine people in the midnight mule league higher than the best content creator anyway fran fpl fran i like to watch his stuff mark southerns he's down in fifth i'm all the way down in 49th or i would be if i was in this league 717 points that's the same as nema from net the hall and two points worse off than FPL Salah. Now transfers. I've already made a transfer. I took out cash and I brought in Saliba. And I did that before the prices changed. So that's saved me I think 0.2 million than if I was doing it tonight. Now I may do another transfer. I've got, I did have two free transfers. I've used one so I've got one left. Um, Mitama is currently flagged as injured as is Bowen. But at the time of recording, I don't know for sure that either one is out. But if one of them is out, or both of them, then I'll, I will make a second transfer. The most likely person to bring would be Embremo, although he will probably sit on my bench this week, or at least start on the bench. And if I don't get him, then it'd be Palmer. Now, my current plan is I'll probably get both those midfielders you see there in the next couple of weeks anyway, so I don't mind doing it one week early. So my team, as it stands at the moment, I have Salah wearing the old mule hat. He's the captain. And his mate Darwin up front. I'm aware that Darwin's flown back from South America recently. He may only come on to the last 15 minutes, but he doesn't need long to get an assist. And I don't have much choice anyway who else to play, so I'm fine to play Darwin. Sun is vice-captain with Porro, his mate, in defence. Now, if Madison was still fit, I'd be very, very tempted to captain Sun. But with Madison out, that's just enough for me to think Salah's a slightly safer option. So those two are playing at home. My only other player at home is Trippier at home to Chelsea. 
reasonable chance of not getting a clean sheet, but he may get an attacking return. I've got Johnston in goal. A lot of people have a Palace defender. I don't, but I do have a Palace keeper. And then also in defence, I've got Arsenal, Saliba and White. And their mate Saka in midfield. So they're all the way to Brentford. If they win 2-0 and Saka is involved in one of the goals, that would be nice, especially if White plays. Unless, of course, you're a Brentford supporter, then it wouldn't be nice. And then I have Bowen midfield. He's currently flagged as well. And then Watkins up front. So Bowen may not play. White may not, may not play. My bench. I've got Ariola in goal. I feel a little bit exposed because I know a lot of people will be playing Ariola this week. So if West Ham keep a clean sheet and Palace don't, that's not going to be good for me. Mitama, but if I think he's going to be injured, then he'll be out. That's going to be in Bremo. And then Gio Pedro, he never plays 90 minutes. He always plays some minutes. He may come on and get an assist against Forrest or maybe even a goal or a penalty. And then Simakas currently last on my bench. We don't know what minutes he's going to get. Reasonable chance Man City will score so Liverpool won't get a clean sheet. As for the background, that's in honour of FPL Raptor, who's been advertising an FPL meets in Nottingham next weekend. That's the second. So I've taken this from his X feed. It used to be called Twitter feed, of course. So there we go. 2nd of December. It's at the Blind Rabbit. And I think he may be live streaming from there before the games. And of course, there's going to be the games on that you can watch. There's food and there's drink. Obviously, if you need, you need to buy that. I'm going to be there. Ross will be there. And plenty of other people will be there too. And if you plan on going, can you please email fplraptor at gmail.com so he knows who's going. And there we have it. That's my plans for game week 13. I'm expecting a red arrow, but I'm hoping for only a small red arrow. It all depends, I think, on how well Harlan does. If Harlan gets six points or fewer, I've got a chance of a green arrow. If he gets 10 points or more, I think it's a certain red arrow. But we'll see. I, I could get lucky. So, um... I hope you have a good game week 13 and I hope I do too. <laughs> Cheers. Bye.